Hey, everybody. It's my 36th birthday. Wait, hold on. That didn't do what it needed to do. Neither did that. Okay, now who gonna clean all this stuff up? Anyways, welcome back to my channel. My name is Keandra Jackson, licensed marriage and family therapist here. And if you are new, hey, welcome. But if you are a returning subscriber, you already know how my videos go. In all seriousness, because I just turned 36, I thought it would be a wonderful, wonderful video to tell you guys 36 life lessons that I've learned since being on this earth. Now, the goal of this video is literally to make your life a little bit easier and to eliminate you from making the mistakes that I have already made. And so I'm here to help you out, boo. So I am breaking down 36 different life lessons that I've learned over the years. And I hope you'll stick around because I can guarantee some of these <laughs> you need to know about. So before we get into it, comment below as we are going through this list, because we got 36 of them to go through, okay? As we are going through this list, I I want you to comment which ones resonated with you, which ones are helpful to you, and maybe even if you have some additional ones that's not even on this list, maybe you can add them in the comment section to be able to help some other people that are gonna watch this video too. I did not want to make this video a million years long because going through 36 things can take a while, so I am going to go through them as quickly as I can. I might give a little commentary because you know when the spirit leads me. So I'm trying to get through this list as quickly as possible because I know you got other stuff to do. The first life lesson that I wanted to share with you is to always keep God first even when you don't understand it. We have to start off this list with God. I know y'all know that I'm a believer and if you're not, I don't know what to tell you, but listen here, I cannot do anything without God and you, whether you know it or not, can't either. Number two, slow progress is still progress. Even though you might take a while to get there, as long as you're putting one foot in front of the other, even if it's a teeny tiny little weeny weeny baby step, baby, you're making progress and you're doing more than a person that's sitting around not doing anything. Number three, comparison is the thief of joy. If you look into the right or to the left trying to compare yourself to what anybody else is doing, you are going to put yourself in a place where you're going to be sad, where you're going to be mad, where you're going to be all of the negative things because you are not living in your authentic self, being who God uniquely created you to be. So don't pay attention to what other people are doing. Do what you need to do, boo. Number four, the hate will come at the same rate as the love. My good friend, Brian Olds, who is the owner and the founder of Black Speakers Network, told me about this when I first got into the media and started doing television. I did a segment on the doctors. And while people loved me, there was a whole bunch of haters, too, that was making negative comments. And he was like, look, Keandra, the amount of love that you're going to get and the support that you're going to get is going to be great from people. But you also going to get some hate. So you're going to have to learn to deal with both and at the same time. And number five is even if you're not good at something, be consistent at it. I don't know if it's just a superpower of mine or if that's a little extra sauce that God sprinkled on me. But one of the things that I do well is being consistent. Take this YouTube channel, for example. I committed to doing one YouTube video per week. Do you think my videos were this good? <laughs> they were raggedy. I didn't know how to edit. I didn't know how to upload. I didn't know what to say, what to do. Boo -da -roo, boo -boo. It was just ghetto in the beginning. If you don't believe me, scroll back <laughs> to the beginning of time, a year or more ago, and you will absolutely see the difference between what's happening now and what's happening then. Nevertheless, even if you're not good at something, be consistent at it because you will get better at it over time. Number six, the older you you get the smaller your circle becomes <laughs> baby I remember when I was younger I used to have a whole bunch of friends and we used to be like turning up every single weekend and enjoying ourselves now I got a good solid few people okay who is rocking with me and I'm perfectly fine with that teeny tiny small group because they get me and I get them number seven is health truly is wealth making sure you take care of your temple is key you only get one body and if you mess this one up God ain't gonna magically give you another one. So make sure you're eating clean, working out, do what you need to do in order to make sure you are your healthiest self. Not just for you, but for other people. Because when you are well, you can operate and help others well too. 
Number eight is when people show you who they are, believe them the first time. Now, let me tell you, you need to stop trying to mold and shape and shift people to be who you want them to be. When they show you that they're a liar and a cheater and all of the other things, believe them. Okay, stop trying to repaint a picture of that person because it ain't going to work out. Trust me, it ain't going to work. Number nine is to never force anybody to see your value. Either they see it or they don't, and that's just on period. Number 10 is therapy is mandatory. I know I might be a little biased because I am a licensed therapist, but trust and believe therapy is going to always be a part of my life. And I hope it will always be a part of yours too, because life can be ghetto. It can throw us curveballs. It can do so many different things where we need the help of a professional or an expert. So don't run from therapy, run to therapy. Number 11 is to do small things every single day that's going to bring you joy. I started doing this a while ago where I would just do little teeny tiny small things that make myself happy. Not for other people, not any of those things. I'm talking about lighting a candle brings me joy. I'm talking about cooking dinner because I, y'all know I love to cook. Okay. Cooking brings me joy. I'm talking about small things that just fill my own cup up that's something that I will highly recommend as a life lesson. Number 12 is everybody won't see your vision and that's okay. Especially if you're someone that is creative and your mind is expansive and you're a little bit more left brain and more abstract. Sometimes you have an idea about something or a business or just anything and you might tell it to somebody and they might not see it, right? But that doesn't mean it's not valid. It doesn't mean it's not good. It doesn't mean any of those. It just means that you might be on this road alone until you're able to fulfill what God put in your heart with the vision to complete. Number 13 is family goes beyond blood. Now, while I have a wonderful, and I do mean an amazing family, I've learned that there are people who are not necessarily blood that still I rock with real heavy. It's almost like you have one of them aunties or uncles, they're not really blood, but they were your mama's friend or you grew up with them. So you just naturally call them auntie, uncle or whatever. Like it's the same ideology. I have friends, I have colleagues, I have people that I have connected with over the years that I'm like, yo, you are literally family and I will do for you just as I would do for anybody in my family. The 14th life lesson is rest does not equal laziness. Woo child, I went through this lesson, this life lesson maybe two years ago. And when I tell you it was a hard one for me to do, it was hard. I come from the school of thought where it was just like, you have to grind and grind and hustle and do it and be working long hours and work on the weekends and, you know, team no sleep. It, that was my ideology for a very long time, especially with me being a full-time entrepreneur. I've been full-time entrepreneuring <laughs> for over seven years now. And so there was a huge chunk of time where I just thought that if I wasn't working, I was being lazy and I was just like, dang. I really should be doing something right now when I would take a rest or a nap or cook me something or just watch TV. I would feel like I'm supposed to be doing something else and I would feel guilty. So God had to teach me that life lesson years ago about how rest does not equal laziness. Rest is just giving you what you need so you can have that stamina to keep going long term. Number 15 is the more you give, the more you receive. I know this is contrary to people's belief system because you feel like if you give a whole bunch of stuff, then you are going to be without and depleted. But that's not how this actually works. The more that you give to others, whether that is money, time, resources, your expertise, the more God is going to give to you. So stop being stingy and release what you need to release to the world. Number 17 is having a lot of money or followers does not equal success. Now, I could have done a whole video and I might about this one. But I am here to tell y'all that just because somebody has a whole bunch of followers does not mean they're successful. I know people who have millions of followers and they're broke. I also know people who got money. I mean like money, money, commas and zeros, seven, eight figure earners, but they're also not successful because they're kind of stingy or they're doing a whole bunch of things that they should not be doing. Figure out what success means to you and that's all that you need to worry about. Number 17 is pay attention to what people say in and outside 
outside of your presence. When people are in your presence and they're loving on you and saying all of the good things, okay, cool, that's great. But what are people saying behind your back? That's what really matters. What does people report back to you, other family and friends about what that particular person says about you? Is it still consistent along the lines of you being great and amazing and wonderful? Or is it the opposite and they talking trash about you? Pay attention to those things and handle those people accordingly. Now, before we move on, I need for you to go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with somebody who needs it because I can guarantee one or two of these nuggets in here is life changing. So let's keep this train moving to number 18, which is work hard, play even harder. Now, I'm a hard worker. I already told y'all that I'm an entrepreneur. I've been in the game doing this for over seven years now, and I've busted my butt to get all of the accolades, the notoriety, and all of what I have now, okay? But I also believe that because I've worked so hard, I should enjoy all of the things that I work so hard to get. So when I do play, <laughs> she plays hard, okay? Hard. Number 19, I'm not even gonna spend a whole bunch of time on this, but if he wanted to, he would. Yeah, I know some people don't agree with that, but just let that soak in. If anybody wants to do something, they absolutely will. You ain't got to pull their leg. You ain't got to pressure them. You ain't got to push them. You ain't got to prod. You ain't got to remind them, okay? So if you were important to that person, you will be high up on their priority list. Ooh. Number 20 is love is a verb. Words and actions must align, okay? You can't have all of the words and don't show it and you can't show it without telling me. Both of those things have to be congruent. Number 21 is speak what you seek. I firmly believe that life and death is in the power of the tongue because that's Bible, literally. And it's so important to speak those things that are not as though they are. So if you are seeking something, if you want something, if you desire something, you can't speak the opposite and expect for it to come to you. Uh, 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 uh. You need to be positive. You need to speak what you seek and you need to keep doing that daily for it to manifest. Number 22 is that God does all things well. Woo! I wasn't always able to say that, but I can guarantee and tell you that even though things have been whew, crazy at times, God continues to do all things well. Number 26 is paying for convenience is underrated. Paying for convenience is underrated, okay? The things that are going to make my life easier, whether that's a chef, whether that's a housekeeper, whether that's somebody delivering my groceries, whatever needs to be done, honey, to give me a little bit of extra time in the day so I can do other things and enjoy my life, I'm here for it. Well, I feel like we need a birthday dance break. Go, shawty. Here's your birthday. We gonna party like it's your birthday. We gonna sip a like it's your birthday and you know we don't give up it's not your birthday yay well it really is my birthday or whatever 50 cent says moving on to the list number 27 is that the best type of friends are the ones who pray for you the ones who can pray for you and the ones who pray with you this has been a valuable <laughs> asset to my life that I have incorporated over the last few years when you have friends who are spiritually led and led by the Holy Spirit because you know we're believers over here it's important for people to be surrounded around you that just know how to pray and that can pray for you even if you don't even ask them they just stand in the gap and intercede for you when they're going through something good bad or in between <laughs> those are my favorite type of friends number 28 is that no season lasts forever I know a lot of you guys might be going through things I feel like since COVID happened, <laughs> life has just been, the pandemic has been just throwing us all of the curveballs. I'm talking about inflation, high gas prices, people still getting sick, the housing market. I mean, you name it on top of, you know, everyday life issues. I feel like it's just a lot, but just be reminded and be encouraged that this too shall pass and that this season will not last forever. It's temporary. Number 29, y'all may not agree with this one, but oh well, everything is better after a nap. Okay, one thing about me is I am a midday napper. I take a nap literally almost every day. And I also sleep eight, nine, sometimes 10 hours every single night. So one thing about me is I don't play about my sleep, okay? So if you have poor sleep habits, I promise you, if you get on a routine or a pattern and get that stabilized, it will change your life. And look, take a nap every once in a while. Take a nap. 
We only have a few more left, so let's get into number 30. Number 30 is don't react to everything you feel. Now, I've said this plenty of times on my channel, feelings are not always indicative of truth. Just because you feel something does not mean it's true. Just because you feel lonely don't mean you are. Like, you know, there's tons of examples that I can use. Sometimes we have to question our own thoughts and feelings to see if it's even valid. So trust and believe everything that you feel, don't act on it because you will probably put yourself in a more detrimental situation if you do. Number 31 is how you handle people who can't do anything for you says everything about you. I grew up to respect all people. I'm talking about literally the garbage collector, the janitor, the gardener, the whoever, even if they're not at some high level C-suite CEO position, I've learned to respect the waiter and whoever else is out there. It shows who you are. And listen, you need to make sure that you're treating everybody equally, no matter how much money they make, no matter what they look like, skin color, job title, all of that. Number 32, I'm not gonna spend much time on this one, is that you are not behind. You are right where you're supposed to be. Receive that. Number 33 is to give to others from your overflow and not from your empty cup. So that means you got to make sure your cup is full, right? And your cup runneth over and that thing is what you give other people. You don't pour from your cup because when you start to give from your cup, that means you are giving from a deficit and we don't want that. Think about the cup in the saucer. If I was to have a cup with a saucer on it, kind of like if I was to drink some tea or coffee and I pour some tea or coffee in that thing and it starts to overflow onto the saucer, the saucer with the overflow is what you give other people. You don't give and pour from your cup. Number 34, your uniqueness is your superpower. Just be you, boo. <laughs> Nobody else can do it like you. Y'all know what I say. Number 35 is to defend those who cannot defend themselves. I think that one's self-explanatory. And last but not least, the 36th life lesson. Woo! We made it. I hope this video wasn't too long. I tried to get to them as quickly as possible. Well, probably I was talking too much. But number 36 is that obedience truly is better than sacrifice. Ask me how I know. <laughs> I've had to sacrifice a lot of things, but even through that, I was more obedient to what God told me to do than anything. And then that's when he continues to bless. Listen, I hope these 36 life lessons that I have learned in my whole entire life was helpful to you. If so, please make sure to comment, like, share, hit that notification bell and stay connected for all of the weekly videos that I have coming your way. Be blessed.